Hi again. Um, I've had I have a whole bunch of uh, sockets here that are all over the place. Um, I do have drawers, a whole bunch of drawers. I've got lots of drawers in my toolbox, but uh, I like keeping my um, sockets on the top. And I do have some organizers here that I got from uh, Princess Auto. In the States, there's, I guess it's uh, Harbor Freight that you can buy cheap tools from. Here in Canada, uh, Princess Auto is very, very cheap. These are very, very cheap organizers. And I like them because they tell me the sizes of the socket. The problem with these, though, is that some of the sockets will not fit into these studs here. So that's why a lot of my sockets are missing. I have some, I have most of them in my drawers and everything. So what I want to do is I'm going to make something like this out of plywood, a platform plywood. And I'm going to use dowels. And how the dowels are going to work, I'm going to drill holes in the, in the plywood. And I'll cut a depth of the dowel enough so just as the ratchet goes in. So for a quarter of an inch sockets, it'll probably be quarter inch to half inch. Uh, high and I'll use um, the dowels as pins just like these okay here's what I'm going to use I'm going to use some plywood for the base um, this is about a half an inch I think yeah it's half an inch I've seen other, some people do it, which I like the idea. Like I'm not, I'm not criticizing them or whatever. But what I've seen some people do is they drill uh, in the plywood the size of the socket, and then they just end up putting the socket, embed the socket in there, like just sink it into there. Um, I like that idea. It's just the thing is, the sockets are all different sizes, so. To do that, you're going to need, like, if you have 20 sockets, you're probably going to need 18 different kind of kinds of drill bits to drill all those holes along here. When you're using dowels, if I use the dowels, all I need is a 3 8 inch drill bit and to drill all the holes and put 3 8 inch dowels in there. Okay, here's how I'm going to lay my sockets out. Um, I have them from one inch all the way down to half an inch on my uh, deep sockets. Then I have one inch here. I'll bring them together. And what I'll do, just like I did with the back, I'll use a square just to um, straighten them out. I also have the shallow sockets from one inch down to a half an inch. Um, in my set that I bought, they gave me a 7 sixteenths socket. If I put it here, it's gonna look awkward. I'm not gonna make a plate. To be honest, I don't even know why they would give you a 17 inch socket on a half inch drive. Anything bigger than one inch, I'll keep in the drawers. I don't need it on top of the toolbox or whatever. One inch is plenty for what I need to do. On the back here, um, obviously the one inch socket is going to be closer to the edge. The other ones come in a little bit. You guys know what, why, because uh, each socket, is uh, the diameters get less and less and less, so... This way, they'll all be centered. Uh, the way I'm going to mark these is with a pencil to drill the dowel holes. 
Uh, I'm holding the camera with with my other hand, so usually what I would do is with my other hand just hold the socket down, and then just spark it for it to drill. This is easy with the half inch sockets. Now for the quarter inch socket, you're never going to get a pencil in there to mark it. So what I am going to do, I got a um, a wood screw. It's about three inches long. I don't have nails. You can use a nail or anything else if you have a, I don't know what they call it, dowel or whatever. Um, and because I grinded the, the threads down, I can put this right through the hole. You can see the hole is really, really small in there. Or press down on the screw. And it'll give me an impression there on the wood. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is an impression there and then you do that to all the sockets and it'll give you a guide where to drill all the holes <laughs> Okay, so how I'm going to cut these on um, the dowels on the bandsaw is I'm going to measure this how far the dowel can stick into the socket cut a line uh, measure it That's three quarters of an inch. Now I know my wood. My wood is half an inch, so my dowels need to be a um, one and a one and a quarter inch deep or long. Sorry about that. So what I did was I grabbed a, a scrap piece of wood. And I'm going to measure it here, one and a quarter inch to the center line, where exactly where the blade is going to cut. And that's perfect. So from the scrap wood over to... Um, the center of the blade is one and a quarter inch. Uh, I'd recommend you not to put the scrap wood right next to the blade or side by side with the blade or you'll get binding. So here's that, how this is going to work. So right now once I put the dowel up against the scrap piece of wood, I know that my cut is going to be exactly one and a quarter inches. <laughs> and a quarter inches so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all my dowels and we'll go from there Okay, I have all the dowels in. Um, looks good.
Here, I'm going to go, that's 15, 16, so we'll go there. Um, 13, 16, we'll go here, there's my 7, 8, 11, 16, 3 quarters, so I'm miss, missing 3 quarters and 5 eighths. Sorry, 3 quarters and 11, 16. It's draw, uh, fell off the table somewhere. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let the glue dry for a bit. Uh, send this down just lightly. I'm not. I'm not gonna make it look like a um, um, a museum piece or anything. But you see how compact it is. Like it's so compact that at least my sockets. Anytime I need a socket, I just grab a socket and put it back. If I see there's a space there, then I know my socket is missing or whatever. Um, I'll show you when I'm gonna paint it and. I'll show you the final product. I just found the corner just because actually it's not um, as sharp, nice and smooth and everything. Uh, I'm going to give it a coat of primer. The reason why I'm going to give it a coat of, coat of primer is because the black paint is just going to sink right into the wood. I'm going to have to give it like four or five coats. So I'll give it a coat of primer first and then maybe just two coats of uh, the black. Both the wheels spin, just as you see that fishing machine in baseball. And then there's two dials. You see it goes from one to ten on both of them. The top dial goes to the top wheel. The bottom is for the bottom end. For a different type of surge, you do different types of levels. So I put English on the ball. Like a knuckle ball to the most part, yeah. Are you ready to uh, try this out? Part of the world where there aren't gay people, you're on. And there you go. There's a socket layout. Um, that really works well when you're putting it in your toolbox. Um, I don't know about the drawers. If you guys like putting your two, your uh, sockets in your drawers, I don't know about the height or anything. I don't like putting it in my drawers. I like keeping them on the top of the toolbox. But there's the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... If you did, please subscribe for more future videos like this and others. And please like. Thanks a lot.